our view on our balcony and Prince Charming is cooking breakfast. So it's very easy to understand why I'm going to marry this man. Mark and I eloped. We went to Maui and it was kind of a secret and a surprise and I didn't even tell my own family. He's Mrs. Wenger. Oh. I'm filmed for the first time. <laughs> It was just so hurtful in knowing that in his life, Donna could re be replaced so easily. I said to myself, what? Now Rebecca's pregnant? Now they're gonna going to Hawaii and getting married? Like, seriously, can I say it on camera? What the f I'm sorry, but seriously, who does this? I remember when Mark told me that he was going to sell the house and buy a house in the country. It was my dream home and my marriage, and I just think when we built that home, I had so many ideas of what would happen at that home. And then we had Anna. <laughs> and then a year later, we had Maggie. Look at the little teddy bear. Home videos show their growing family filling the house in the country. Where's Anna? Fancy. I was so busy with life and kids. We were just living our best lives. There's Mommy and Anna and Bailey hanging on the end. This is Bailey's interview tape one. My name is Bailey Elizabeth Simic. We had a pond in our backyard, and we would all go like play out and that together while my dad would fish. I think for Donna's family, they were probably torn. They wanted Mark and Bailey to have normalcy, but as Mark then with Rebecca started to pull away from the family, it was really very painful for Donna's sisters and her mother. Sometimes when Sarah Jane would be around Bailey, she would just cry because she would see Bailey and she would just want so badly to share that with Donna and she would just get emotional. That bothered Mark because he didn't want her to cry around Bailey. I remember visiting the new house. Sarah Jane had the baby in her arms and she had a necklace that had Donna's significance on it. She wanted to put it on Bailey, and it upset Mark. Mark said, Mom, could you please take the necklace off? It makes me feel bad. That was the first instance where we felt that Mark uh, said something that was inappropriate. That was kind of the beginning of the end. I received a letter from Mark one day saying to me, I could not be called Grandma. So I wrote him back and I begged him, please let her call me grandma. And he said, I'm sorry, there's no way that I am going to allow her to call you grandma. And that's the way it is. We really all decided together that we just couldn't continue enduring this type of pain. And Mark was somebody that we just no longer knew. I mourned that for a long time, and I really felt then that when this child is old enough, she will want to know about the first three months of her life and about her mom. Every year for my birthday, they would always send a birthday card, and I always remember asking my mom, who's Sarah, Jane, and Ira. And my mom would always explain, like, those are Donna's parents, and they just, you know, want to let you know that, like, they love you and that they remember you. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Mark wanted to go and be checked out at the emergency room because he wasn't feeling well. And I looked over in the waiting room and I saw Deanne and 
she glared at me like she was just very angry to see us again. And it sort of triggered Deanne. After Donna's death, her life went one direction and Mark's went an entirely different direction. Mark told me that we're probably going to be hearing from her again. My life and the home that I had built was completely shattered. Deanne Schultz's statements were an absolute bombshell. Now that this woman came forward, hello, there's your motive. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.